Told you earlier this week about AP exams taken by dozens of Star Point students lost in transit. Well, now with no scores, those students have to decide whether to retake the exam or to get a refund, which many students and now a U.S. Senator believe is not good enough. To on your side's Jackie Roberts has the latest on this developing story. I personally feel that it's ridiculous. This is Ellie Schuler, an incoming senior at Star Point High School. We took the AP U.S. History exam, and last year seniors took the AP Literature and Composition exam, and UPS lost our box in the mail, which means we have no score right now. According to a letter sent to families, a box containing 106 AP exams in literature and U.S. history disappeared on the way to the College Board's National Grading Center in New Jersey. It's on UPS, and then the College Board gave us two options, which me and my fellow students all feel don't make up for the nine months of hard work that we put in to take advanced placement classes, which are extremely challenging. Students can either retake the exam or get a refund, but Schuler says neither option is sufficient. This isn't some sort of like t-shirt you lost in the mail that could be easily replaced. This is nine months of hard work gone in and just lost. So she's looking for help, writing a letter to elected officials about the situation. My goal through reaching out to them is hoping that they might be able to put some pressure on the higher ups at UPS to really get put more people into searching for the missing box. U.S. Senator Chuck Schumer quickly backed the cause. Friday, he called on the CEO of UPS to either track down the exams or reimburse the students for testing costs and any clear loss of college credits. We also reached out to UPS for comment on this. In response, we received a statement saying, quote, we regret that some of the tests were not delivered and we are working with the school on a resolution. It's kind of like the corporate excuse for the dog ate my homework, but it's not acceptable for us in school, so it shouldn't be acceptable for them. Jackie Roberts, Channel 2 News.